this video we're gonna take you through how to play the backhand smash. So the backhand smash, it's very rare you use it, but it's a, I would say, a nice shot knowing how to play. Once you play the, the backhand smash, usually you're in a position where the lifts or the clears are, are quite flat from your opponent and they're also not at the back of the baseline. If they are too far close to the baseline, it's really difficult to play a powerful backhand smash without getting punished by your opponent. So be very mindful when to use it. Normally when I play the, the backhand shot, it's because I have it, I would say, almost around mid court or, or, or slightly longer back on the court, but it's definitely not at the baseline. So the technique behind the shot is a traditional backhand grip. So you have the, the thumb here on the side. How to getting the power is actually to stay very relaxed in your body, both here on your, in your abdominal, your shoulders and your forearm. When you wanna play the shot, you start by getting the elbow up, staying relaxed. And then the last piece, you really use your thumb to generate the rotation and the power. So it looks like that. Reaching the shuttle on the top, to, to, to get maximum power. Important here to stay relaxed until the last bit where you use your thumb to generate all the power in this mesh. So for the timing of the backhand smash, what you often will see is that when you take the last step to the backhand smash, you hit the shuttle and then you land with your right leg if you're a right-hander. Um, so it's not like you move out there and only generate the power with, the, with your arm. Try and when, once you're up in the air, generate the power, smash, and then you land. So the landing comes right after you've hit the shot, so you're able to, to get back into the court and move towards the next one. As mentioned earlier, this is a nice shot to know, but if you can, I would rather recommend you to, to do the rotation to the backhand side. Of course, it's not always uh, that you can do that. So that's why we want to practice the backhand power smash. For the timing of the shot to be able to get um, the, the steep smash, of course, you can't use the power smash and hit it behind you. So you have to hit it slightly, slightly uh, in front of you when you want to play the, the power smash. 